Hello, good evening, everyone in Dukey, Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer, in for Jessica Dean. Tonight, one of the victim's best friends opens up about the tragic loss. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is live in Hamilton Township with more on that story. Cleve? Well, 20-year-old Danny Diaz Delgado wanted to be an engineer, his best friend tells us, but instead he was found dead here along the banks of the Ashton Pink Creek in Hamilton Township. We're learning now more about his alleged killers and their greedy actions. He didn't deserve the way he, uh, he got killed. Christian Hernandez says it's difficult to understand someone murdering his best friend for a few hundred dollars. It was over $240. Almost four weeks ago, police found 20-year-old Danny Diaz Delgado bound and riddled with bullets along the banks of the murky Assenpink Creek in Hamilton Township. Police say he was lured to his death by the prospect of buying a discounted video game console for his younger brother. He loved his little brother. According to a newly released affidavit, 29-year-old Rufus Thompson of Trenton used Facebook Marketplace to trick Diaz into meeting him under the guise of selling a PlayStation 4. Investigators say on March 23rd, Thompson and his associate, 29-year-old Akmal Alvaranga, lured Diaz to this alley behind South Cook Street in Trenton. At gunpoint, they ordered him into a garage, robbed him of the $240 he brought for the PlayStation, and then took his ATM card to this Chase Bank and withdrew another $700. The next day, Diaz was found by the creek with his hands duct taped and bound behind his back with an electric cord. He was shot multiple times in the front and back. I know his parents have been taking it really hard. It's been a toll on me as well because me and him will hang out every day. Digging through Facebook messages and surveillance video, police quickly identified and arrested Thompson and later Alvaranga. They charged them with murder, robbery and kidnapping. According to the affidavit, Alvaranga confessed to the crimes. What they did to him, nobody deserved it, not even them, honestly. So I just hope they stay in prison for the rest of their lives and they think about what they've done. And we learned this new information because of a detention hearing this morning. Both suspects are in jail without bail. In Trenton, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.